Okay. Handlers. Welcome. Here. We're here. Uh, we are very sorry. Uh, we had some very strange technical difficulties, some sort of coding error. Um, but we are going to try to screen record uh, this episode of Songs in the House and post it uh, later tonight on YouTube. Yes. So this is a very special Songs in the House. Yes. <laughs> and so just for anyone that doesn't know, this is a thing we've been doing. It's based on... Uh, Seth Rudetsky and James Wesley's Stars in the House, which is basically a bunch of mini concerts with Broadway stars, and we thought it would be a great idea to do it with some local uh, talent. Yes, all while raising funds for White Plains Hospital COVID-19 workers. So um, if you can make a donation, any amount goes to the doctors and the nurses and all the people working there to take care of patients uh, struggling with COVID-19. And on every broadcast, we have our very own Bruce Sachs, uh, doctor and med musical theater expert, um, giving us some tips and anecdotes. So uh, let's bring, bring Bruce on. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we are. Hey, Bruce. You made it. You made it. Yeah, yeah. This one's a head scratcher. Uh, it was some sort of coding error, and I, I, I just I went through all these different articles. We tried calling. It, it, it's not gonna work. So, uh, so we're so we're recording this somehow. Yeah. So I'm screen recording. So I'm recording the screen, and then hopefully I'll be able to post it tonight on YouTube. All right. You're you're still a little bit of a computer whiz. <laughs> More than we, me. Hey, we, we still got in about, you know, 20 minutes less late than the 90th celebration for Stephen Sondheim. <laughs> yeah, birthday. exactly. That's true. <laughs> We're ahead of the game. I think we did pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Yeah, this is definitely a strange one today. I don't know what's, what's yeah. going on. So, um, everything good by you? Everything's good. I, I, I must confess, I, I got home about 6.35. I was like, whoa, I, I, I think Songs in the House is going on tonight. <laughs> it was one of those like, woo, man, am I glad I remembered that one. <laughs> <laughs> you had a little extra time. Yeah, it's getting a little busier. Everybody's sort of preparing for their camps, which are going to close before they finally get to go. But they're, they are doing all of their checkups and their forms, so things are kind of busy for us right now, which I guess I won't complain about, but yeah. uh, I don't see how camps are going to get up and running. I, I really don't. Uh, I just, I think if they do, I think it's going to be a very quick season, it's probably a couple of weeks before they start seeing, you know, three or four or five cases, and, and I hope they don't have to shut people down and send them all home, but yeah. everybody's trying. Yeah, yeah, I know. It, it's it'll be interesting. I mean, you're talking about sleepaway camp, I'm assuming, right? Well, both. I mean, honestly, I mean, even day, day camp camps too. Are, yeah. are a higher risk. I mean, if you think um, about everyone trips. getting in a car, getting on a you know coming in and out on a daily basis, True. you know, going back home, going to the market, That's coming true. back to camp. I mean, there's you know much more easily contained in a in a in a sleepaway camp where you can let people in and out of the camp you know on a limited basis you know that so true. I, That's true. I don't know if either of them are going to work very well to be honest you know i kind of feel like the you know the the the, the terrible pessimist but I, I really start to feel that like until we get a vaccine i don't think very much is going to change anywhere you know i i don't think we'll be going to theater i don't think we'll be going to sports Although my Rangers will be playing in the playoffs. Yes, I, I like the draw. I think we have yeah, pretty decent I'm happy stuff. about that. Yeah. So that's pretty exciting. So see, some there is a silver lining. Yeah, if it happens. Yeah. If true. it happens. If it happens. True. So I guess we should get to the first guest. Yes, yes. So our first guest tonight is Julia Besterman. Okay. Hope we hope she stayed with us this whole time. All uh, right. Hopefully. Hi, Brian. Hi, Julia. There they are. Do you need to? They are very frozen. Can you hear us? 
Can you mute your screen in case John's around? You're on. Come on. Okay, can you hear us now? Can you hear us? I don't think they can hear us. Yeah, I can hear you. You're kind of faint, so just turn it up. Okay. Okay. Cool. Hi. So sorry about the, the delay. We had some, some major issues. That's okay. So we're just recording it, right? Yeah, so this is just, uh, we're screen recording, and hopefully tonight we're going to post it. Okay, okay, cool. Cool. Yeah. Yes, it's live theater for you. <laughs> exactly. Yep, we're in a new, new era. So, Julia, how have you been? What have you been up to during the quarantine? I've been all right, considering this is our situation. Yeah. I've been playing a lot of guitar, schoolwork. Nice. That kind of thing. Great. Great. We won't even talk about that great show that we're not doing at this point, but, you yeah. know. That's got to really stink, <laughs> I know, for everybody, but especially for you. Yeah. Such a shame. I know. Such a shame. So we had such a great cast. But um, anyway, we, would you like to get to your first song? Yeah, sure. Okay, so tell us what you're singing. and I'm going to be singing um, Stars in the Moon from Songs for a New World. Oh, yeah. Great. Who, uh, can I just ask you before you get started, I, I think, isn't there a guy that you know who sort of orchestrated the uh, album? <laughs> I know, a little bit. A little bit? Like did some of the orchestrations? Oh, for, oh, yeah, co a few of them. You know, yeah, we're going to hear about that. Yeah, we were going to talk about that a little later. Share the credit. It's, that was another lifetime ago. We want to hear, Brian, so what was that like to orchestrate uh, Songs for New World? The original, um, the, the, the well, our Broadway. Well, it was just great to work with Jason. I mean, remember, this was before he was really Jason Robert Brown. You know, when he, you guys were all camp buddies, practically. Yeah. He yeah. was just Jason Brown then. He was Jason Brown, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we grew up together. And, uh, you know, when he moved to New York, we, you know, we uh, did some stuff together. It was great, uh, you know, kind of reconnecting with him at that time. And he was an up and coming uh, composer and pianist. And, uh, you know, he really started getting uh, pretty well known around that time. So, so, cool. so did you guys orchestrate uh, it together or did you like do some of the songs and he did some of them or? Yes, we split it up. So he gave me a bunch of the songs to do and he did the other ones. So uh, if uh, I can't, I, I remember a few of the ones that I did um, and the few ones that he did and there were some I'm not totally sure about but I might be able to find some old scores in the garage or something. Do you have a Do you have a favorite one that that you got to do? Uh, the last one is my favorite one. Um, hear my song. Yeah, hear my song. Beautiful. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, it's such a great song. Gorgeous. Boy, and Billy Porter. Billy Porter was just great on that album. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, not. not <laughs> right. Tell yeah. that story. Yeah, of course. Tell us that story. Yeah, I'd love to hear that story actually. Well, I mean, uh, right, it was his record company that said he couldn't do it, right? Correct, correct. <laughs> Billy Porter, you know, back then, Billy Porter was actually uh, a little chunky. Um, he, he was, he was uh, you know, a portly young man. He had the most unbelievable, uh, still does, unbelievable voice of, of all time. And um, he had just signed a record deal uh, with, I don't know which company, Brian, right? But, it, you know, and they forbid him to do a cast album of um, songs for a new world. So uh, as Jason like will joke on, 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 you know, his broadcast, wow, that, you know, yeah, that, that production with Andrea and with Ty Taylor, that was really great. And Ty Taylor just sang on the album, you know, <laughs> which we all love. Um, yeah, he's great. He is dynamite. You yeah. Know? <laughs> um, but it, you know, I, I think how many times did we I saw it about five times off Broadway when it came out with Billy Porter and Andrea and Jessica Molaski and Brooks Ashmanskis, who's, you know, turned out being the star of the prom um, on mm -hmm. Broadway. Right. Yeah. Love him, too. I mean, just a great cast. I have a question. Why is it, it, does this have anything to do with what happened with Billy Porter? But why is it only the three of them on the album cover? Because um, I mean, they were not on, they, because the, those are the three that did the production off-Broadway. 
Got it. Right. I think they maybe they wanted to use a photo from the show, but they obviously had to pick one that didn't have Billy in it or they cropped him out or something. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. This is a great story. Yeah. Hmm. Now, Brian, yeah. did you have anything to do when they did Songs for New World again? Did you, were you? No, 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 no. Jason, Jason re revised the orchestrations for that one. He added strings and he might have added other things. Um, yeah, I mean, I thought the new orchestrations were great, but I mean, I still recognize a few of my things in there. So <laughs> <laughs> whether or not uh, anyone remembers it, uh, I do. So I think your orchestrations are great. Yes, for sure. <laughs> You and know. Julia's sitting there going, hey, this is my night. I know, I know. <laughs> Sorry, Julia. All right, well, oh, here, Julia. Get out of here, Pressure Dad. now, right? Dreamed. 
one day I looked around and I thought, my God, I'll never have the moon. <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh, great. That was fantastic. Beautiful. I love that song and you did such a great job with it. Thank you so much. Not, not too shabby having a pop who can play piano like that, huh? <laughs> no, not bad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, us like nerdy piano guys are useful for something, right? A little bit, yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's so, one nice sort of connection we have, you know. Yep. That was great. With you and your daughters. Well, that's why they wake up to songs like You Gotta Die Sometime from Falsetto. You know, I, <laughs> this is not normal, but you know, I wake up, I, like I hear Joel's alarm go off. You gotta die sometime. You gotta die some, you know, it's like, wow, I taught her right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely, no, that was great. That was great. So, well, the, I guess we should get to our next guest. Yes, yes. Our next guest, who is Maddie Gilgano. Hi, Maddie. Hi, Maddie. Hello, Maddie. Hi. So sorry about the technical difficulties. That's okay. Hopefully this works out. Yeah. Oh, there we go. It's live theater for you, right? Yeah. It's all you can do. You never know. So how have you been? Uh, what have you been up to during the quarantine? Um, I've been good. I've been um, obviously doing schoolwork, um, taking up most of my day, but just been trying to do like little things like I don't know, I'm also like FaceTiming with friends, you know, trying to keep in touch and everything. Nice. Yeah. I think, I think you've grown about a foot and a half since I last saw you. I'm not quite sure, but. I probably um, have. Wow. <laughs> really, I mean, your whole, your, you, you look like you're about three years older. I don't know. You know? <laughs> Maybe because you played a boy in Sweeney well, Todd. Yeah, then this is true. A little boy. Yeah. What a difference a year makes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like literally a year, exactly. Definitely, almost exactly a year, yeah. I know, I know. Uh, I was. And I know you're that you were doing Mary Poppins, and that kind of got stopped short, right? Yeah, it was it was cut a little a little short. We got to do one show um, for uh, two people could come for per person in the audience. So it was nice that we got to do one show though, because it felt like you finished what you started, um, even though you didn't get to do like all four of the shows fully, but yeah. it was nice for us to do that. Yeah. No, absolutely. At least you got to do one performance. Yeah, definitely. So would you like to get to your first song? Yeah, so I am singing The Life I Never Led from Sister Act. Um, I think it's a really like pretty song. It's super emotional and I just really like the song. <laughs> Great. never talked back, I've never slept late, I never sat down, I'm told to stand straight, I've never let go, and gone with the flow, and don't even know really why, I've never asked questions, or taken a dare, I've never worn clothes that might make people stare, I've never rebelled, stood up and yelled, or even just held my head high. All of the feelings unspoken, all of the truths unsaid, they're all I have left of the life I never led. Never gone surfing, or ran with the crowd, or danced on a table, or sung much too loud. I've never quite dared to leave myself bare. I've just been too scared I might fall. I've never seen Paris so naked been kissed, and I've never quite realized just how much. 
much I missed. And what did I get for hedging each bet? Another regret, and that's all. And all of the wishes unasked for, all of the needs unfed, they're all that remain of the life I never dad on the piano there yes come on say hello dad this is great we got all these musical families i, I know that was really nice that was yeah so nice to hear that your dad accompanying you yep maddie you sound great thank you so much really i love that song what a what a great song yeah it's a really like it's there's a lot of stuff you can do with it it's really cool i like that song yeah, no, absolutely. And your your range, you just like keep going up and it's it's great. Yeah. Thank you. Great. Um, so I just want to remind everybody to, you know, go to my YouTube page and if you'll scroll across where it says about, you'll see the link for White Plains Hospital COVID-19 workers. Please, if you can donate a dollar, five dollars, anything really helps out um, the doctors and nurses equipment and supplies. Um, helps feed them while they're working and uh, they really appreciate it. We appreciate what they're doing. So thank you for anything that you can give. Um, and also mention songs in the house when you donate. Yeah. So Julia, it looks like you're gonna be playing, uh, accompanying yourself for this next song. Yes, and also my dad is accompanying too on bass. Oh yeah, wow. loving this. So got a lot of accompanying. All right, what are you going to be singing? I'm going to be singing Frank Mills from Hair. Huh. Great. That's a cute one. Yeah. Good boy. Should I start? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> September 12th, right here, front of the Waverly, but unfortunately, I lost his address. He was last seen with his friend, drummer, he resembles George Harrison of the Beatles, but he wears his hair tied in a small bow at the back. To walk down the street with him He lives in Brooklyn somewhere And he wears this white crash helmet He has gold chains on his leather jacket And on the back 
would gratefully appreciate it if you see him, tell him. I'm at the park with my girlfriend and please tell him Angela and I don't want the two dollars back just him Wow, that's so pretty. Yeah. Wow, you play so well. How long have you been playing? About like a year and a half. Wow. That was fantastic. Thank you. Your voice sounds so sweet. I mean, it's just beautiful. That, that, is not, that is not a song you have to worry. You go into an audition and somebody says, oh, too many people are doing that one. You know? <laughs> that is true. That's really very, very sweet character song, and it's beautiful. I love that song. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely true. You're not going to hear a lot of people singing that. Yeah. So that is one of those shows I had the pleasure of doing at, at French Woods as a musical director. And, you know, I just remembered, it, you know, it's, it's fairly dated, you know, like it's just really, really dated. But, you know, that song really holds up. And, of course, Let the Sunshine In yeah. always holds up. And mm -hmm. you know. That's like one of the shows I want to do the most. Did uh, they change any of the lyrics when they did it at French Woods? Uh, I don't think I, well, I, I, I would imagine they must have done a few, but they were pretty raw there. They did almost yeah. everything the way it was written. I don't think know. they would change the lyrics. Yeah. I just remember that it was just the big dramatic thing at French Woods because everybody was like teenagers and, and then like the characters at the end who go off to war and die and everything were all like the, the, the kids at camp had trouble really discerning reality from theater and you know, made this big drama screaming and fainting and, you know, all this hysteria going on. I'm like, guys, this is a musical, okay? <laughs> Calm down. But it's, it, it's, it's quite a classic. Mm -hmm. Yes, man. Not a lot of places do it. I mean, schools are, I guess it's, it's a little dated. Well, they yeah. did a revival a few years back on Broadway. True, that's true. Yeah, yeah that is true. That is true. So Great. So, Maddie, uh, do you want to get to your next song? Sure. Um, I'm singing All I Want from High School Musical, the musical series, and I'm going to be playing it on the piano. So. Great. Wow. So you're accompanying yourself for the second week. Yep. So talented. A, a lot of symmetry here. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's true. <laughs> yes. Didn't even plan it that way. Redheads and their dads. <laughs> yep. I mean. <laughs> I'm yeah. to show that. <laughs> All right, go for it. Found a guy, told me I was a star. He held the door, held my hand in the dark. And he is perfect on paper, but he's lying to my face. Does he think that I'm the kind of girl who needs to be saved? And there's one more boy, he's from my past. We fell in love, but it didn't last. Cause the second I figure it out, pushes me away and I won't fight for love if you won't meet me halfway and I say that I'm through but this song's still for you all I want is love that lasts is all I want too much to ask is there something wrong with me all I want is a good guy and my expectations far too high Try my best, but what can I say? I'll ask myself at the end of the day. Shouldn't that be enough for me? Ooh. And I miss the days when I was young and naive. I thought the perfect guy would come and find me. Now happy ever after, it don't come so easily. All I want, oh gosh. All I want is love that lasts. All I want, too much to ask. Is there something wrong with me? All I want is a good guy, and my expectations were too high. 
Hey. So pretty. Oh, great. Wow. So nice with, with your own accompaniment. Yeah, that's great. So how long have you been playing the piano? Um, I've kind of just like picked it up over the years. Um, my family like is really pretty musical. And so like, I've just kind of like played it once in a while. And then like, sometimes I play it more than others. And so I've been playing it more over four and two because it's, I have more time, so. That's impressive. Yeah. You sound great too. Yeah. Really great. So did you have plans to be doing any theater this summer? Um, not really. We have, um, at a theater, I do a lot of shows at Curtain Call. We have some, we had made some plans for a summer show, but we're not sure that they're really going to happen at this point. So we're trying to figure out like alternatives or something else we can do. Um, so that's still in the thinking process. But so far, I don't really know. It's hard to be socially distant when you're on stage with other actors. It is. Yeah, it's really hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kind of audience all being distant, but yeah. kind of also hard to carry a good tune with a mask on. <laughs> <laughs> it's also very true. <laughs> good point. <laughs> very good point. So, uh, just thanks again. Thank you guys both for coming on. You guys are fantastic. Thank you. Great, great show. Really. So talented. Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh. Really, really. And please, you know, donate if you can. We're sorry for the technical difficulties, but. The show is, is, is worth waiting for. Yes, definitely. Thank you, guys. Thank yeah, and the next show uh, will be this Sunday. Um, still to be determined who exactly is going to be on. Yes. I think, I think there might be one of the sax girls and some friends. But that's all I could say at this point. I don't know. Tune in. Tune in. <laughs> Throw it together. OK. Yes. Well, that sounds right. great. We'll be here, hopefully. Hopefully yeah, we'll be hopefully here. Hopefully we get it together with our technical difficulties. Just pay your Zoom bill, for God's sakes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You guys were great. Bye, girls. Bye, everybody. Bye.